Wasn't going to record a video of this small project, but then I thought, why not? modeled this house down at the bottom of the stairs we had a small closet so we decided to open that up and put some shelves in and uh, we wanted to go with live edge and so I was able to find some live edge oak I uh, bought it from a fellow youtuber one very ordinary man is his channel and he cut this tree down on his own property and milled it on a sawmill he had built himself and he was kind enough to plane it down to one inch when we went to pick it up. Uh, you should check out his channel. He's got a lot of really good content. Um, so one of my goals though when we put this in was to be able to um, put those shelves in and not have the fasteners visible um, and also to be able to pull the shelves back out and, um, and be able to paint. So let me show you what what I ended up doing here. You can see some pins in there where each shelf would go. And those pins are actually, let me see if I can bring one of these up, just about a three and a half inch screw that I screwed into the wall and then just use a Dremel to cut the head off. Now, all I had to do here was just locate studs. So, just use the good old Wallabot. I don't know if you guys have seen one of these before. They're pretty cool. Sharon got me this for a gift. But as you can see, located my studs and made sure that uh, I screwed into those studs. Um, back on the, in the back corner, I had to actually run them in at a little bit of an angle to hit the stud, but that's fine. That'll, that'll catch the shelf, no trouble. Now let me show you let me show you what I did with these shelves here. I took my table saw, put these on in, and just cut a slot the length of that shelf. I didn't come out to the very edge, but up in here enough to catch those studs that I put in the wall. And so these will just slide in nicely. And one other thing I wanted to show you here. Um, some really cool oak. It's wormwood, so all of these pieces of slab have these small pinholes, and I chose to leave them and not fill them just because I like the look. So let's get started and get these things installed. <laughs> Okay, that's all done. 
that was actually a really quick easy project and the wood looks great now it's just time to put a few knickknacks and pictures on these shelves here's your grandpa and grandma berg and check out that good looking guy in the dark sweater thanks for watching